Okay, now to zero your rifle. Now I have a phone attached to the back of my rifle. This is terribly uncomfortable and not very precise, but you actually get to see what you would normally see through the eyepiece, which is what's important. So this is not going to be super precise, but it's just the procedure you're after anyway. So I just use a piece of wood with a piece of lagging tape on it. It's metallic tape. That is the black target that you can see. It's just a little square of lagging tape. And when you fire around, now this is just a 22 subsonic, you get to see the bullet hole. If I zoom in slightly, there's my aim point. And there is the bullet hole. And that's just the heat coming through the wood. Now simply, I've already bore sighted this. This is why it was fairly close. You'll come into the menu. Come down to reticle adjustment. Place your aiming point back over where you were aiming. And you'll simply dial left and right. So basically on this one I need to come up. So I'm just going to adjust the Y. And I'm going to move the cross to the bullet hole. And I'm going to come down to save. And it says at the bottom, long press OK to save and exit. So that's the long press of the turret button. And we're good. Let's take another shot. Always aim for like the corners of the tape. As you can see, we're basically bang on. It's very hard for me to get it precise. This is a terrible shooting position. Now those are only 22 subs, but you can see there's two holes there. And you can see how long the, the heat actually stays there. Quite remarkable. Now ballistics wise, here's what's entered in the profile. So we've got velocity either in meters a second as it is here, or feet per second. Well that's controlled by your yardage. So whether you're in yards, you're in imperial, if you're in meters, it's in metric. So that's just another menu to change. You got your billet weight, in this case it's in grains, grams instead of grains. Your BC, which is G1, altitude, temperature, scope height above the bore, and your zero range, which is 40 meters in this case. So to use the ballistics, all you do is range, and then press the range button again, and there is your new aiming point. Now long press of the turret gets you up into the menu, so you can change all the image settings, the contrast, the sharpness, the display brightness, there's your ballistics, your rangefinder unit settings, so that's meters or yards, which remember also controls your feet per second or meters, your reticle adjustment, that's how you're going to zero the scope, gyroscope if you need to re-zero it, your scene, so there's all your, your colors and your palettes, picture and picture if you like that, that puts you a little picture at the top. Hot track highlights something for you. Personally, we don't use it. You're better off learning to, to look for the, the animals themselves than rely on something that may or may not work depending on the situation. Recall recording, auto power off, auto recording, all the general things that you're starting to find in all the scopes now. Date, date and time, audio if you want that, your Wi Fi to your app. Languages, whether you want the icons on the side, personally I don't like anything moving on the screen, so I don't have them displayed. Formatting the SD card, and return all to your default settings if you, if you mess it around too much.